Welcome back to Anointed to Bling, everyone. It's your girl here, Rain, with another project for you, a DIY wedding project that is beautiful set of bride and groom wedding goblets. You want to find out how I did it? It's not quite a tutorial, but an overview. Stay tuned. <laughs> jump right in here. If you've been following my DIY wedding vlog series, then you know that I did a pair of wedding goblets before using a plastic glass that I got from the Dollar Tree Mod Podge some bling wrap and thank you for your feedback on that. Some of you were concerned about the Mod Podge on the glass and the safety of drinking out of it. I assure you that it is sealed and it is safe, but I decided to play around again and come up with another creation and here you have these glasses in front of you. Now you will note there's some stringies here that I definitely need to go back and clean up. Didn't quite catch that, thought I got it all and I'm starting to really see it on camera. Nevertheless, I wanted to show you the glass. All you need for this project is your choice of color, bling wrap. I also use some rhinestone wrap that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I got the brooches that are on the glass from Hobby Lobby. Had some black lace on hand to use for the bride's glass. And for the groom's glass, there isn't any. Now, these glasses actually did come from the Dollar Tree. They are wine goblets that come in a charcoal kind of color. So the stem is a darker base and then it kind of is an ombre effect so that it's a regular clear glass at the top. And all that I did is take my bling wrap and just wrapped it around the glass about a couple of inches up. And then to separate it, I used the bling wrap, uh, excuse me, the rhinestone wrap that I got from Hobby Lobby just to create a break in the pattern as you can see and then continued on with the black bling wrap up toward about the middle of the glass and then closed it off with another line of that rhinestone trim. Then later I took the brooches that I picked out at Hobby Lobby and added those to the front. They're not super masculine but not super feminine either so I really think they actually work. This is probably not my last set of wedding goblets. I'm just kind of playing around to see what I like and what I can come up with for the big day. But I wanted to give you an overview and show you these particular glasses that are very different than the king and queen one that I did originally. You can catch that video in my videos as well if you want to go back and look at it. You'll notice at the bottom of the glass I also lined it uh, in combination with that bling wrap and that rhinestone trim as well. I really think that these came out absolutely gorgeous. They sparkle and they shine under the light, which is what I love. And I hope you love it too. Again, I'll probably be back with another set. I'm still kind of not satisfied just quite yet, but these are really, really fun to make. And hopefully you enjoyed this overview. If you did, leave me a comment, leave me some love, comment, subscribe, like, don't keep me a secret, share me with a friend. Until next time, be blessed. I will see you again next project. Have an amazing week ahead.